京南無妙法蓮華経南無妙法蓮華経 This is the most important day and no more Columbus Day and very, very important day back to the important way. And I came to from Japan. I'm now living in Grafton Peace Pagoda. And I came to United States 1978. They call longest walk. Many native people crossed America from San Francisco to Washington, D.C. That time, Native American people doing own ceremony, sweat ceremony, sun dance, they're going to prison. Even 1978, they know American country, they know allowed to pray own spiritual practice. That's where Native American people crossed America by step by step from San Francisco to Washington, D.C. So when I arrived Washington, D.C., I saw the one baby, he born Washington, D.C. But this baby from Stockbridge Mansi tribe, his name is D.C. Walker. Oh. So after 1985, I met again D.C. Walker, more a little bit growing up. <laughs> but um, our Peace Pagoda friend has been doing 400 years um, Mayflower Landing. Mayflower is landing 400 years ago. And after that, this New England start genocide. So we have been many years walking all different massacre side. And many people don't know your own town, even like a Boston Common, they have a genocide, killing site. Is an old native friend hanging by tree. And we walk all this place until this September, we walk all around New England. And now, slowly, slowly, people more realize to this kind of history, to more try to running. And my understanding, Native American people has amazing thousand, thousand, thousand years develop own beautiful spirituality. So 400 years ago, when Mayflower landing, those people brought is a violence. Those people don't know how to treat people. Those people just uh, traumatize from Europe and come to this land to don't know other way to how harmonize to this land people. So they have a still going on. This American history has lots of traumatized that we need more work step by step for prayer. So I like to drumming a little bit, OK? Yeah, OK, cool. thank you. When I walk, I drumming and walking. <laughs>